Welcome to Corfu, one of the most beautiful Greek islands. Corfu is just perfect, as it offers so much to do and is full of historical gems you do not want to miss. Corfu is located in the Ionian Sea, to the northwest of the Greek mainland, close to Italy and Albania. Corfu has been influenced by various civilizations, including the Greeks, Romans, Venetians and British, leading to a unique blend of architectural styles. But the main reason why we picked this island is the lush greenery and the rolling hills. And I would say it still qualifies as a hidden gem because it hasn't been hit by mass tourism. We are here in August, peak season time, and it's easy to find places that will make you feel like you are in your own private paradise. But don't get me wrong, Corfu is not empty. After traveling around the island and speaking to the locals, we now know for sure that the most stunning beaches are in the Palio Castrizza area. It is a perfect place to stay, as there is not only one, but six beaches within a walking distance. But if you crave more privacy and are up for a challenging hikes to reach the beaches, stay in the nearby village Leopades. It also offers you four beaches within a walking distance. And that's what we did. Come on inside, quite spacious. Very modern looking, little kitchen area here, a kettle, a coffee thing, a fridge and oh yes, oh my god, there is water inside. I was so thirsty, so thank you owner for leaving water. Oh, I can't continue the video, I have to drink. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, so good. You want some? This is our couch, quite comfortable. Hello mirror, Carlos, a little swan. Oh, well everything here looks quite decent. Oh, I wanna see, this place has wine glasses. We have one wine glass? Oh yeah, What? Single. What? Ah, uh, a crime. All right. It's a crime. It's a crime. Okay. I think we have to wrap this up really fast as, 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 as we need to go and buy some wine. And some food. And some food. Maybe, Maybe we're going to eat outside. This is how Medusa apartments look from the outside. We are satisfied with everything in our room and would recommend this place if you are thinking of staying in Leopades yourself. First day and first activity. Let's go to the beach. We knew it would be a little hike, but still, we were surprised. It's definitely not an easy pavement walk, but the destination is worth every step. Oh my god, I think I'm in love. Wow. We are beach people, love swimming, so the first thing we do in the morning is to go for a swim. If you can, come to the beach in the morning. It's less crowded and the air temperature is very nice. And if you get hungry, that haven't brought any snacks yourself, there is the canteen booth where you can get snacks and drinks. I am walking on the other side of the boat because there is a noticeable difference between water temperatures in the sun and in the shadow. And of course, I prefer warmer, warmer waters. In the sun, finally in the sun. Now I will demonstrate you cliff jumping, very slowly and carefully, 
I am approaching the cliff as it has sharp edges. And here I go. Oops. First attempt unsuccessful. So I am trying again. And this is as far as I go. Looks like today will be a snorkeling day. We noticed a big cave and we were drawn to explore it. Actually, Corfu has awakened cave explorers in us. Here we go, my first time snorkeling ever. I'm so happy it happened here in the crystal clear waters of Rovinia Beach. After some activities, it's time for a lunch. Our favorite starter is stuffed wine leaves and grilled feta cheese. Today we are experiencing the traditional Greek food moussaka, eggplant casserole made with fried aubergines and potatoes in a rich tomato beef mince sauce and topped off with a delicious creamy bechamel sauce. Time for another beach experience. Now we are going to the most popular Leopades beach called Leopades Beach. Here you can rent boats, pedalos, sups, canoe boats. This beach is a party place as there are many beach bars and you can rent beach beds with umbrellas. But we are going for the pedal boat. As you can see, Leopades Beach is very crowded, but we feel very private in our own little boat. It's crazy. When it's not windy, it's amazingly lovely. The views of Palikustritsa and Leopades are spectacular. When a wind starts, it just gets a tiny bit uncomfortable because of this. Like, for example, now, when it just blows us into the rock for example, then it's not fun anymore. They're very dangerous, I would say, and this steering doesn't even work. Yeah. Paid, uh, I think, how much did we pay? 40 euros. 40 euros for three hours. Oh, shit. We're going to crash into the uh, boat right now. We have to be very careful. We have a... And stop pedaling. Come on. Come on. <laughs> well, there's another boat. Use the steering. Yeah, use the steering. I don't know how it works. I don't like it. Boats, 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 boats. It's fine. One, two. And now go straight. Come on, straight. Here you see. Oh, Getting God. a grip of it, darling. Stop. Forward. Come on. So this is kind of like very uh, fun. And the steering doesn't work, so that's why I don't... Oh, let's go on that beach there. Yeah, yeah let's go in there. Good, 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 good. We're going there, we're going there. Forward. Is there going to be a crash? No? Oh my god, we're so good at this. Uh, look at this, our private beach right here. That's how she gets out of the boat. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, let the woman do all the work. Ah. Ah. <laughs> I'm stronger than I look. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Hold the, hold the camera. Race. There you go, private feet. Congratulations. This activity, rock climbing underwater, is a tricky business. Rocks are slippery, ground is uneven, but our recently awakened cave explorer spirits are just unstoppable. Up 
absolutely water shoes are the most essential without them not a chance on this beach so guys let's go back to the boat don't make jokes about titanic stupid yes we are safely back in our boat and we'll continue on our journey back to the shore at Leopold's beach very carefully approaching the beach slowly as you can see water is full of people there is wind and boat doesn't turn I think what doesn't help is the wind one of the most epic places we visited is Angel Castro, a Byzantian castle built on a particularly rocky terrain. It stands 1000 feet, 3 or 5 meters, on a steep cliff above the sea. When I was thinking, Corfu can't surprise me anymore. <laughs> I see this. Angel Castro is one of the most important fortified complexes of Corfu. It was an acropolis which surveyed the region and presented a formidable strategic vantage point to the occupant of the castle. Wow, guys, this place does feel magical. I don't know if it's charged or it's the history of this place or the mesmerizing view, but it feels really, really special to be here. The castle never fell, despite frequent sieges and attempts at conquering it through the centuries, it played an important role in defending the island against pirate incursions and during three sieges of the Corfu by Ottomans. That's a chapel up there, right there. The Church of Archangel Michael is located at the highest point and is built at the site of an early Christian three-aisled church. The main gate points to the north and is protected by a circular tower. How do you feel? Amazing. One of the nicest places. There is something very magical about this place. No doubt. Oh, and I just can't believe we almost missed this. So we notice a cave, or more precise, an opening in rocks. We are moving closer and it is starting to look like it is more than just a random cave. It feels very unusual. And there is a light coming out. As soon as we see the cross, we realize we are in a chapel. This tiny chapel is dedicated to St. Kiraki. The chapel was created by digging into the rock formation and as such it has a cave-like structure. There are paintings inside the chapel that date back to the 18th century.
I would love to stay here longer, much longer, but as the dark is approaching, it is best to get down the hill, as I would not advise anyone to walk this path in the dark. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and subscribe, so you don't miss our next episode, when we will tell you about the best hiking path, cultural monuments not to be missed, how to find sacred beaches, and take you through the charming streets of Corfu town.